Hey guys, this is Martin Perdomo, the Elite Strategist, and you're listening to Latinos and Real Estate Investing Podcast. In today's episode, I want to share with you the seven things you need to do to mitigate risk for yourself and your business during a recession as a real estate investor. Point number one, be disciplined in your actions. What are your lag indicators, right? Lag indicator is something that you do now that's going to pay a dividend later. I'm constantly talking about what are those things that you're doing today that's making you better tomorrow, right? Are you consistently taking the right actions that's leading you to the success that you want? In order to be successful, you must be disciplined. Number two, make decisions with calmness, confidence, and communicate with clarity. So if you have a team, or maybe you're a one-man show, or maybe you're just starting to build your business out, make decisions with calmness. Be very careful of who you're listening to. The media, the fear mongers, the news is all about fear. They make their money on fear. Number three, get and stay aligned with your mission. What is your mission? For instance, for us here at Skill Property Finders, Our mission is to solve and help solve the affordability crisis in our country, is to create affordable housing, high quality affordable housing for families to live in so we can have a positive impact in communities. We know what properties we're going after. We know what we're solving for. We're making, we're investing with an impact. Number four, invest in yourself and in your team. This is not the time to be cheap with going, attending workshops, being around other investors, traveling to learn. This is not the time to be alone. This is a time to be listening to books. This is a time to be, for you to be in, investing in yourself. This is a time for you to be investing in your team, for you to be sending your team out to workshops, investing in, in training for yourself. This is a time to be feeding yourself with positive reinforcing into your life and into your business. It is extremely important that you're doing those things during a recession. Number five is define what success looks like for you and your team. One of my great mentors, Tony Robbins, always says clarity is power. Once you're clear on what you want, you start going there fast. But you first got to know what you want. And when you ask most people what they want, they'll tell you they just want to be happy. They just want to be left alone. They want to make enough money to pay for their bills. And that's fine, but that's not clear enough. You need to define what success looks like for you and for your team. You need to communicate to your team what does success look like for our organization. Number six, set wildly important goals, right? Again, goes back to alignment with clarity. All of this is in alignment with everything I previously said. So set wildly important goals. What are your wildly important goals? What is it that you want? Do you want to own 100 units? Do you want to invest passively and you want to get a 15% return? What is it that you want? Do you want to earn six, uh, you know, six figures, hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to move up in the corporate ladder? Do you want to? Move, what is it that you want? And number seven is break down your wildly important goals into quarterly milestones. The way a man eats an elephant is one bite at a time. Take that annual goal and break it down into four quarters. There's four quarters in a year, so every ninety days. Every 90 days, you're going to take that quarterly goal and you're going to break it down by months. What are the activities I need to be doing? And you'll be surprised. There's this great resource that I use that one of my mentors is a creator of this book and it's called The Elite Journal by Don Wenner. And this is a book I personally use. My mentor actually created this book and I'm going to give him a plug because my business has grown tremendously because of the things I've learned with him. And these, my friends, are the seven things that you need to do to mitigate risk in a recession. Guys, I really, really appreciate you guys watching this video. I would appreciate it if you subscribed and liked this channel. It really helps with the algorithms, guys. I know that your time is gracious and your time is valuable and you could be listening to or or watching anyone else yet. You're here listening to me. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to continue to watch videos like this one, make sure you click this video right up here. I think you might like it. Also, if you want to learn how to create wealth through real estate investing, make sure you check out my online course. The link to that course is down below where I share with you how to get your first deal within 60 days. Thank you for watching. And again, peace out.